CSCS practice test, 15 questions. Question 1. High levels of dust can be inhaled when performing tasks such as grinding, drilling, sanding and cutting. These levels are most dangerous when A. Working in a small room B. Using the tool in a large, indoor area C. Working outdoor on a calm day D. Using the tool outside when it is windy Question 1 Answer A. Working in a small room Question 2. You need to sweep up dust that was created during your shift. You should A. Place a protective mask over your nose and mouth. B. Ensure that there is adequate ventilation. C. Dampen down the area. D. All of the above. Question 2 Answer D. All of the above. Question 3. You are required to undertake some work that will produce dust. What will need to do? A. Only work for a short period of time. B. Avoid the work, as dust can harm your respiratory system. C. Begin work immediately, dust is hardly dangerous. D. Wear the correct personal protective equipment, PPE, and use devices that will control airborne dust. Question 3 Answer D. Wear the correct personal protective equipment, PPE, and use devices that will control airborne dust. Question 4. When using water to help control the levels of dust when cutting, what should you do? A. Make certain that you are using as much water as possible. B. Pour water onto a surface before you begin cutting. C. Ask a co-worker to stand next to you and pour water directly onto your workspace. D. Make sure that the flow of water is adjusted correctly. Question 4 Answer D. Make sure that the flow of water is adjusted correctly. Question 5. What two methods can you use to reduce the amount of dust from becoming airborne? A. Place a dust collector on the machine. B. Wear a protective mask. C. Keep your area neat. D. Work carefully and slowly. E. Wet cutting. Question 5 Answer. A. Place a dust collector on the machine. E. Wet cutting. Question 6. When using a power tool for cutting and grinding, why is it important for the dust to be collected? A. It will save time and avoid a mess. B. A machine guard is not necessary if the dust is collected. C. Dust can be harmful if it is inhaled. D. The tool performs better if dust is collected. Question 6 Answer C. Dust can be harmful if it is inhaled. Question 7. Occupational asthma can make it impossible to work with specific materials. How is it caused? A. Constant exposure to rat droppings. B. Constant exposure to harmful levels of noise. C. Cutaneous, skin, contact with the hazardous materials. D. Breathing in hazardous substances such as dust, vapors and fumes. Question 7 Answer. D. Breathing in hazardous substances such as dust, vapors and fumes. Question 8. Being exposed to which of these items will not cause lung infections or diseases? A. Bird feces. B. Strong odors. C. Asbestos fibers. D. Silica in dust form. Question 8. Answer. B. Strong odors. Question 9. A nest of pigeons along with droppings are discovered in an area where you will be working. What should you do? A. Let the birds leave before continuing with your work. B. Cease work and ask a supervisor what you should do. C. Attempt to catch the birds. D. Continue with your tasks. Question 9 Answer. B. Cease work and ask a supervisor what you should do. Question 10. More construction workers die or suffer long-term health impacts from which of the following? A. Tripping and falling. 
b. Accidents involving vehicles. c. Falling from great heights. d. Inhaling hazardous substances. Question 10 Answer D. Inhaling hazardous substances. Question 11. You are working with a chemical and require respiratory protective equipment, RPE. If none has been given, what do you do? A. Work as quickly as possible. B. Smell the chemical to determine whether it is dangerous. C. Begin work but take breaks at 5 minute intervals. D. Do not work until the proper equipment and training have been provided. Question 11 Answer D. Do not work until the proper equipment and training have been provided. Question 12 You are provided with a dust mask to protect against dangerous fumes but this mask is partially damaged. What should you do? A. Begin your work but take regular breaks. B. Wear a second mask above the first. C. Work as quickly as possible. D. Do not start working until you are supplied with the proper protective equipment. Question 12 Answer D. Do not start working until you are supplied with the proper protective equipment. Question 13 Which of these tasks does not cause silica dust to enter into the air? A. Sawing wood. B. Cutting stones and blocks. C. Demolition of concrete floors or screeds. D. Sweeping up rubble. Question 13 Answer A. Sawing wood. Question 14. When you are drilling, grinding, sanding or dusting, how can you protect your lungs from long-term respiratory damage? A. Wear goggles and use a dust extractor or only wet cut. B. Use a regular dust mask, goggles and hearing protection. C. Only use FFP3 rated mask and goggles. D. Use FFP3 rated mask, an extraction device or a wet cut, impact goggles and hearing protection. Question 14 Answer D. Use FFP3 rated mask, an extraction device or a wet cut, impact goggles and hearing protection. Question 15. Solvents in paints and resins can lead to A. Lung issues. B. Headaches, nausea and dizziness. C. Other effects on the body. D. All of the above. Question 15. Answer. D. All of the above.